Hey guys. So I noticed in the Unreal Answer sections that people are having a problem applying their texture to their imported terrain. Whether they're using World Machine or a height map or a, just a mesh they've gotten out of some other 3D application, it would not align. And it was really bugging me, to say the least. So I finally figured out a way for me, at least, to have it working. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that. And so uh, let's get rid of the mesh and let's get started. So we have everything done already. I already have my height map created, have my train created. I'll show you about the uh, material after. So you want to do fit to data just so I can demonstrate what's happening. All right. So as you can see, you know, you have your texture on here. Everything's cool. Uh, but there's these little inconsistencies that should be over to the left a little bit more. You know, uh, small things. This should definitely be further in. And no matter how many times you move it, stretch it, try to fit it over this plane, it just never works. And that's simply because the size of this terrain is actually not the correct size. It's not what you exactly brought in. At least for my case, it's not exactly what I brought in. There's this extra border on the outside of the uh, terrain. And it's for use of no one, if you notice, it goes up and then it repeats itself out, meaning there's not that much information there. You can see it right there. There's that it should be perfectly smooth all the way. I mean, uh, rounded everywhere. But this is the only part of the mesh where it's it, it kind of uh, bleeds out, I guess. And so, what I did was let me delete this again. I'm going to import it again, fit to data. And if you notice right here, number of components, I put this down to 16. All right. That gave me an even number of components. And your texture is an even number. I would hope so. And let's import. Well, I should say, a number div uh, divide uh, a number that you can divide by two is the correct term for it because everything works in twos at least in UDK a lot better you know, it just you know it's just it's just a rule of thumb and so now you notice everything lines up let's go back over here where I showed you that little creator and everything lines up ignoring the fact that the lighting needs to be rebuilt and there's checkers everywhere. You can see now that everything is lining up. Fades nicely with the hill. Same on this side and these are opposite sides of the map and so that just goes to show you that everything's lined up perfectly. Everything looks good. And now simply by removing that extra component once you when you create and when you create your terrain. Let me show you that one more time. You fit the data, and you turn that to 16. All right? So maybe yours is 19. You want to drop it down to 18. And uh, so now let me show you my terrain. And All right. So now we're in a terrain. My terrain material. It's pretty straightforward. I have my color, my normal, and the, tech, uh, the material itself. And if you've been reading and trying to figure everything out, everyone's like, oh, Please use the landscape chords, but no one's shown an example. And so I finally figured out that they were in a way right, but again, no one showed an example. And what I've set the mapping scale to is the resolution of the uh, map I've imported, which is 4096. All right, that's all you gotta do. And import that, make sure it's 16. 16 
Let's give me the 17 real quick. Just to show. 289 is not a dividend of 2. You can't break that down by 2s, all right? I don't know if that correlates to anything, but that's the only way I can get out of this situation. And as you can see, everything lines up. This is all a work in progress, but the biggest thing for me, and I'm sure for everyone else, is just getting the texting at the line correctly. You do that, and we can worry about the bumps and the details and how pretty it looks. Gotta get the basics first. Hope that helped, guys.